Maybe you saw the headlines, tractor beams coming to an orbit near you. Technically, yes, but don't lock in auxiliary power just yet. It's true NASA has signed an agreement with ArxPax, the company behind the Hendo hoverboard, to develop satellite control applications using the company's magnetic field architecture. It will work the same way the hoverboard does, generating magnetic fields that push or pull against the conductive magnetic surfaces of tiny satellites called CubeSats. The device will draw as well as repel satellites at the same time, meaning it will hold the satellite at a distance and won't allow it to move away or toward the capture device. But this will be a small scale. CubeSats are tiny enough to launch by hand in some cases, and magnetic fields will only be good for adjustments on the order of centimeters, according to ArxPax founder Greg Henderson. So no, future space station supply missions won't coast up to magnetic parking spots. For now, putting two spacecraft together still requires a slow, careful physical connection. But magnetic fields could be used to arrange precise formations of satellites so their instruments can make more accurate measurements. Or as Fortune notes, they might help clean up debris. Some proposals envision arrays of CubeSats carrying nets between them to wrangle space junk out of Earth's orbit. Magnetic alignment fields might speed up such a process. NASA has a vested interest in keeping such debris under control. It's not gravity levels of bad up there in orbit, but space trash can still be dangerous. Old satellite components, the odd bit of spacewalk equipment, even flecks of paint can get moving over 17,000 miles per hour. It's not something you want hitting the windows. ArxPax hasn't commented on the viability of a debris capture system or any other specific applications for its control system. The company will be working with NASA on a prototype for the next couple of years. For Newsy, I'm Matt Moreno.